Hello and welcome. This is Gigi and this is a weekly tarot reading for my Pisces for the week starting May 16, 2016. And if you'd like to have a private reading from me, you can send me an email at ggleetarot at gmail.com. You can also subscribe to my channel. I would be very appreciative. Thank you for those who subscribed already and welcome to my new subscribers. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your comments, your private messages. It truly means a lot to me. And I also post a below the video where you could find me on social media as well. And now my beautiful Pisces, on to your reading. I want you to know that prior to recording your reading, I meditate and ask spirit for guidance and I shuffle the cards as well. So let's see what we have in the past position. The tower. Very surprised. What's happening? Well, the good news, it's in the past. Okay. The tower represents some type of disruption, difficult disruption, I would say. Okay, it's a major arcana. Um, what we know so far is you have a lot of energy in your third house, okay, which is the house of where Mercury resides. So Mercury is in retrograde in Taurus, which is your third house. The sun is there. And I think also Venus is there. And I have to say, I remember when I had Mercury going um, retrograde in my third house, it was quite uh, something too. Third house is, you know, is, is um, network, is our friends, um, neighbors, cousins, people that are close to us after our family. It's our extended family. So we'll have to see the other cards to understand what Spirit is trying to say. But uh, you may, some of you may are may be coming from some type of hardship this week. It could be an emotional one. It could be physical. But let's see what we have in the position of the um, near pass this week. Queen of Swords, okay. Um, I feel that, yes, it could be about friendship. Maybe you have been disappointed in some of your relationship. Queen of Swords represents someone who's very direct. She's not really concerned at all with people's feelings and sentiment. She's mostly about the truth and honesty, okay. That's all she's about. She's a very mental... Um, energy okay so here maybe you have been shown things that were difficult to admit and like I said things could be related to the third house those that I mentioned before but it could be related to someone else it could be also that this person could be somehow you know bringing you some type of obstacles okay because you know Gemini you know, you and Gemini, Pisces and Gemini, which is one of the ruler of Mercury, is squaring you, okay? So it's like you're the fourth, you know, Gemini is a fourth sign away from you, so it's a square. And then the other Mercury energy, which is Jupiter, which is in, I mean, sorry, the other Mercury energy, which is Virgo, but uh, Jupiter is in Virgo right now, is opposing you. So you have this square, and then you have this opposition, and now this is all in your third house. So it brings some type of mental, like, anguish. You know, you don't know, you're not sure of what you're seeing, but you think that's how you felt. Be, be aware that, like, our feelings sometimes and the rational get a little confused with Mercury retrograde in our third house. So, But there's definitely an energy um, where you are... You could be on a defensive mode, okay? Uh, you could be putting your guards up, okay? But let's see what we have in the position of the future for you this week, my Pisces. Six of Cups. So in the midst of all that, you will be reuniting with someone from the past. It's funny because I think three other sign got this card or two other sign got this card this week. Is you'll be reuniting with someone. Because, you know, the last few days we had a new moon. It was a new moon in Taurus. Again, your third house. So maybe there's a neighbor that you're now 
you find on on social media and that you're talking to or maybe an old friend that was just like a family who's coming back into your life or that you'll be reconnecting because that's what the third house does third house is like i said it's people that are close to us so some people that have been close to you for a long time will be maybe departing or some people that you haven't been close but have been consistent consistently with you present in your life for the last two, three years, maybe now you're going to look at it and you're going to be like, I'm not happy with that. I'm not happy in that relationship. I feel that I'm not, you know, because like I said, I don't believe myself in 50-50. It's all about finding a balance that works for the people involved. But you may decide that you're not getting your needs met. Whatever your needs may be, you feel that there's not a balance uh, relationship. So I feel that, you know, the Queen of Cups could be just there to cut people off around you uh, for some of my um, Pisces. But with that, again, with the new moon in that position, other people will be connecting with you as well. Let's see what we have for you in a position of the um, outcome this week. The Justice Major Arcana. Yes, I think you're going to do, you're going to go with your guts here, my, um, my Pisces. With all this energy, with the way you see yourself, the way you see people with, your, with you in your relationship, in your third house, things going to change. If you're not happy, you're going to find this equity or, you know, you're know, you going to find this way of dealing with it. But I find here that, yes, you the scale will be going in your favor. It's about, it's going to, about, it's going to be about you, how you feel. You know, what this disruption, the disruption is it bring from someone else or it's just you're you're not happy and now, now you're getting emotional. But don't stay there too long. Now with the Queen of Swords, you have the help that you need. You have the friendship around you to let you know, yeah, you're right. Go in that direction or no, this is not a, a good partnership. This, this doesn't make you happy. But I'm going to end this reading here for you, my Pisces. Let me know how this resonated with you. Leave me comments. Until next week, send you lots of kisses. I love you.